gold serves as a renowned inflation hedge due to its intrinsic properties and historical performance during periods of rising prices. Gold operates as an inflation hedge because gold possesses inherent value that transcends currencies and economic fluctuations. Its scarcity, durability and desirability do make it a sought-after asset, particularly during times of economic uncertainty or currency devaluation. And gold tends to have an inverse relationship with fiat currencies, particularly during periods of high inflation. And as the value of paper money declines due to inflation, the relative value of gold often increases, making it an attractive hedge against purchasing power erosion. Now, if we look at gold here, we see it has a very strong seasonal pattern. And notice this event feature on Seasonax. Um, during the last five years, over the Fed meeting, gold has a strong bias for gains. And over the last five years, 67.50% of the time, gold has ended up higher out of the Federal Reserve meeting. And sometimes, look at those gains, can be 4 you know, 3 4%, over 2%. You can get some significant moves to the upside as well as to the downside. So this is a time of real volatility. And should the Federal Reserve take a more dovish stance if they start signalling four plus rate cuts via the dot plot, then we could see gold break out of its recent strong technical pattern that it's trying to form. You can see here we've had a big bid come into bonds as we've been seeing the dollar weaken, as real yields have been falling lower, then gold is trying to put in this flag pattern. You can see that's the flagpole, that's the flag that's trying to form. And if we see a dovish central bank meeting from the Federal Reserve, then gold can easily break out of this channel and traders will just be putting stops the other side of this channel looking for another potential extension of that flagpole. You can see out of the event, gold does enjoy upside over the last five years. So the major trade risk here, of course, all outs of risk, is that previous, you know, these seasonal patterns don't necessarily repeat themselves each year. It will be dependent on the Fed policy and the dot plot. Remember, don't just trade it, season exit.